Revolver technology has taken giant leaps forward over the last decade or so. And many people just look at a revolver like it's just an old style of gun, but there is quite a bit of technology that has gone into it and advancements that really go beyond anything we've seen. And I believe one company has quite possibly created the perfect concealed carry revolver. Now, before we get into it, I do want to take a moment and thank those of you who are patrons to this channel. It has grown to be difficult, as you've seen on all your favorite gun channels, uh, to really be continuing to paddle upstream on YouTube uh, because it's just like a, the algorithm. It's like a rushing water that goes against you and it just gets stronger and stronger. It's like being on a treadmill. Uh, you're working real hard, but you're not really going anywhere. But it's because of patrons like you that really allow us to free ourselves up and focus on the content that you want. So if you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is below. Those of you who already support this channel to Patreon, thank you. There are many people out there who would argue that a revolver is an outdated self-defense weapon. Well, I would argue they're very wrong and have not actually taken the time to really look at the modern revolver. Because I believe a lot of the reason why people kind of push the revolver aside is because of its capacity. And I understand that. However, in all of the handgun training that I've been through, most of the people that I'm training with are just blasting off rounds, just blasting them off, hitting th not hitting their targets. Um, and I, in those moments, always tried to achieve what it is I needed to achieve with one shot. I know that's not necessarily realistic all the time, but you're accountable for every single bullet that comes out of that gun. And I strongly believe if you're defending yourself against one person, one or two accurately placed shots should do the trick. Uh, but we live in a world where most people who carry handguns just think it takes 30 rounds. Um, and they're just blasting off. I've seen people not even looking and blasting off rounds uh, in the direction. So I think you kind of have to really think about the kind of person you are in those moments. And I'm the kind of person where every time I pull that trigger, the intention is to finish the job with that shot. And if I don't, then I go on to the next one. And I believe in those moments, especially when you're talking about accuracy, a revolver is a great choice. When you're talking about proficiency and power in calibers, revolver is a great choice. And the advancement of revolvers has really taken a lot of leaps over the last decade specifically. When it comes to concealed carry revolvers, I think Ruger has kind of nailed it with really evolving the perfect concealed carry revolver. And I've taken a lot of time and looked at a lot of concealed carry revolvers over the years. Uh, the Ruger LCR is not my preference of revolver to carry, uh, but when it comes to concealed carry revolvers, they definitely nailed it with the LCR. Well, why? What's the big deal about the LCR? Well, let's start with, it's the perfect size and shape of a pocket revolver. It is ideal for carry. Um, it's, you know, there's smaller revolvers like the North American Arms, for example, is a much, much smaller revolver. Uh, but trying to hold, like if you hold it in your hands, you're definitely not sitting there going, oh, that's a good feel. When you hold an LCR in your hands, it, it feels good. It feels right. It feels like it was made for the hands, yet it's so darn tiny. But that's not just the reason. There's a lot of tiny revolvers out there. In addition to that, you can get a five shot 38 special, five shot 357 Magnum, 327 Federal Magnum, or a five shot nine millimeter, or an eight shot 22 LR, or a six shot 22 Win Mag. It really gives you a lot of great options. Uh, having eight shots of 22 LR is nothing to, to shy away from because 
Most people in this country are killed with a 22 lr than any other caliber. Google it. It's, it's just a simple fact. But beyond that, you have a wide range of calibers. And you're, now at this point, you're like, well, so what? There's all sorts of smaller <laughs> revolvers that have a wide range of calibers. But you can also get it in an LCR or the LCRX with the external hammer, 1.87 inch barrel or a three inch barrel. Now, I'm gonna say that the three inch barrel is not really gonna, I kind of disqualify it as a pocket revolver at that point. So we're gonna just stick with the 1.87 inch barrel as far as why is this the perfect revolver for concealed carry. It's got an aluminum frame, stainless steel barrel and cylinder, and a very, very smooth trigger. Now here's where we're getting into why is this one of the best. It's got a great double action trigger, but I prefer the external hammer for those more accurate shots and single action. I just like to have the option. Um, so I definitely am, you know, as I continue to talk, I'm talking about the LCRX as well. Uh, it's got a one in 16 inch rate of twist and it's stainless steel barrel. But here's where they differ from all the other revolvers. Because at this point, you might be going, you know, this sounds like my Smith & Wesson revolver. Or this sounds like my Colt revolver. Like, there's all sorts of revolvers that fit everything you're describing. Here's the big difference. It's the firing control housing. Um, I know you might sit there and go, well, wait a second. What? What's the big deal about that? Well, this is different because it's a it's an internal firing control housing. So where every all the other firing control mechanisms are within the frame of the gun, this is within a housing which kind of holds it in tight, reduces recoil significantly, and then that is placed inside the frame of the gun. Um, this is something that you know when you kind of look at an LCR and you look at like a Smith & Wesson 642 airway and you're kind of thinking, well, what's, you know, what's the big deal between these two things? It, you shoot them and you will see the big deal. Um, you'll definitely see the big deal because a few things this does, it, it greatly reduces recoil, which is significant. Uh, but in addition to that, it, it makes it lighter weight. It has an aluminum frame so it's really also lightweight. So whereas in, in order to get the recoil control in a revolver like this, you kind of need more of a bigger, heavier snub nose like the EAA Vindicator. You need something bigger and heavier to reduce that recoil. Uh, you get into the lightweight ones. They're nice and lightweight to carry around, but it's got a lot of recoil. So what the LCR is, is that happy middle, <laughs> that middle ground. Um, which is why I believe it's maybe the perfect concealed carry revolver. Um, you know, it's definitely kind of in the middle price range, uh, upper middle, I'd say. You know, there's definitely some cheaper revolvers as far as price-wise, and there's definitely some more expensive revolvers out there. But if you're just looking for, you know, what's the ideal concealed carry revolver, I believe it's gonna be the LCR. Um, it's probably gonna be the direction I'd recommend to any new gun owner, any elderly gun owner, um, anybody who just wants a darn good revolver with reduced recoil, that's just kind of the ideal size. Um, and then I'm actually gonna add that they put that hoe grip on, which also reduces recoil. You know, and you can also change those grips out if you don't like the hoe grip. So there you go. Uh, what is the perfect concealed carry revolver? Well, maybe the LCR. Um, I know there's a lot of great ones out there. Uh, any thoughts or insight on any of this, definitely put it below. Do want to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel, not subscribers, click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, I'm God. Love your family and love guns.